Hi guys, Wako here. Today we are ranking bikes. Yes, I said it. Bikes. <laughs> when people see me outside, they see elegance, a staple of what a man should look like and be like and sound like and talk like and walk like. But honestly, what if I told you guys that I enter bikes? Yeah, yeah, I know you don't believe me. But this is a video of me on a bike. And if you think that's not me, this is me giving you the middle finger. Bikes are widely used in Nigeria. Most people love it because of how well it passes through traffic. And even though this is good, it is also controversial. First, anyone that's on a bike and they put their hands here, they are all wanted criminals. Secondly, they have banned it more than I can count. But it's still there. It's like a toxic relationship. One fall from this and you could die. But the breeze makes us come back for more, man. First, we have this bike, the Igbo man bike. Trust me, I'm Igbo, so I can get away with saying this. Most ladies will say they have never been on this bike, but do me a favor, anytime any of them stand up, try and sniff their ass. Please don't sniff anybody's ass, but trust me, just come very close to them, you will smell rubber. Most people underestimate this bike, but it was built for heavy lifting. It can carry tons of materials without breaking a sweat. The downside of this bike is if your leg was to come even six feet near the exhaust, forget that leg. This bike has given more Nigerians leg scars than your lesson teacher, than your father than my ex. It also has an issue with space, so if you are a passenger on this bike, I'm sorry but your junk will have to touch his butt. It's a small price to pay for comfort if you tell me. Sit here. You have the higher end bikes mostly used for delivery and promotional pictures like this. I have only used it once and let me tell you it's not size inclusive. If you don't know me, I'm a chunky boy and I need extra space like this man. So tell me, where on this can I sit? This is trash. D tier. Power bikes are the worst. You sit on this bike for more than 6 minutes in the passenger seat, forget about procreating. You see them on the road, just leave them because they make so much noise. I believe they are used as a scare tactic for Nigerians because the government doesn't want us to be relaxed at all in this country. Only rich people can buy these bikes and I hate when they try to make it feel like it's cheap. They are always in this pack that looks a little bit culty. But even if you have a bike, it is hard to get into this group. Unless you dress like a body double for Blade 9. They usually like challenging the bike, going across plenty states. It's like a speed run for them to see how fast they can get gets kidnapped. D tier. I'll just put this bike in D tier. Nobody's saying goes to buy this bike. Trust me. This by far is the most advanced bike I have seen in my life. Everything in this bike spits perfection. The back seat can be readjusted for maximum comfort. And you know we like maximum comfort after the first bike. A lot of the bike men raise the seat so high up that you're closer to the bike man. And we all want that. <laughs> It's romantic, guys. There are also two versions of this bike and you would know the version you're on from the footrest. One has a long steel that your whole feet can relax on and the other one could care less if your legs are on top of it. The side mirrors are props. If your bike man ever uses the side mirror, calm down. You might not make it home alive. S tier for this version and A tier for the other version. And that's it, guys. The video ends here. But for me to make this video, I'm not lying, it's been like 10 weeks in the making. So I'm going to play a voice note that I sent to my sister literally the day I almost had an accident on a bike. All right, so what happened was that uh, 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 I came back late, obviously, because of traffic. I entered the bike. Normally, the bike is 200 naira to where we stay. Then as we're going, babes, as we're going, there's a literal guy with a bamboo, like bunch of bamboos, walk crossing the road. How is there someone in 2022 carrying a bamboo stick and crossing the road? So we, the, the, drive, the, the bike man saw him and swerved. Baba swerved. And thank God for his strong hands. I was saved. I was saved like a damsel. We swerved to the sandy area a little bit. Then we stopped. And he turned and looked at me. I was like, oh, I got my money for, my money for. I was like, what the f What the hell? <laughs> I'm laughing about this. Because that's just how I cook it. 
situation was, but at that point it was scary. I came up from the bike, he turned, and as he turned, another boss had already collected the, the money from the ground and moved, then, then packed. Then he said, talking to them, okay, give my money, give my money, give my money. Then that was what happened in the video. So apparently at the end, they, they ran they ran away with the money. But the, the, the stupid thing is, um, I would have helped, but it looked like they wanted to fight. So that's my, that's my, that's what's going through my mind. My man was like, I'm not ready for any fight on top money. No, it's concern me. And then it's concern my papa. Anyways, so that was what happened. And uh, uh, when I was going back home, he, 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 after that, he entered the bike and we went home. I asked him how much. But now have money on me. I'd have given you a thousand naira. So I just gave me 500 naira. Oh yeah, take. Um, I was like, how much did they take for me? It was like, it was like 800. I was so happy it was 800 because like at least 500 has like at least do you understand what I mean? But I still lost money, but oh well. It was so sad, man.